Hi, I'm Mark Cook with Kit Planes. You know, when you change the brake pads in your car, you're probably talking about stuff like this, where the braking material, the friction material, is actually bonded to the back plate. Well, that's not how they do it in airplanes. Why? I have no idea. Instead, this is a typical like Cleveland uh, brake component. What you'll notice is the backing plate is actually riveted to the piece of friction material. So when it comes time to replace the, your, your, uh, the friction material itself or the brake pads, you've got to take them apart. Fortunately, you have this cute little tool. It's about $44, made by Rapco. Uh, you can get, it, get them at Aircraft Spruce. And it makes really short work of removing these little brass rivets and giving you the opportunity to replace the friction material by itself, keeping the old backing plate. Let's walk through the process. So we'll start the process of removing the old pad material. First of all, we have to set up the tool. Now, the tool comes with a couple of pieces. The first off is a little pin that is designed to push out the old, um, the old rivet. There's actually a, uh, another piece uh, that's part of uh, putting the rivets back in or setting the new rivets. So to set up the Rapco tool, you remove this from the base and you install this in the tip. Now the tip itself is actually designed to press in the new rivets. So you have to push in this piece to take the old one out. So the way Rapco tells you to do it, you're always working from the backside or the non-friction material part of the pad. Simply put the pad in run this thing down until the pin contacts the hole in the back and we just screw it through with a little bit of effort it will push the brass rivet right back through the backing plate while Omar finds a shot there we'll just repeat the effort for the other two so once all three rivets are out you should be able to pull the material away from the backing plate and toss this now, while we're looking at these, it's probably worthwhile to, to determine when do you replace the pads. Now, generally speaking, you want to replace these before the material wears down to the point where it starts contacting the rivet heads. So you want to catch these before they actually get down to the rivet. Now, the rivet itself is made of brass, so it's going to be softer than the material it's contacting. Nevertheless, you want to replace these before you get to that point. Another thing to look for when you pull the material off, you want to make sure that the inside of this is completely flush. You don't want any burrs, you don't want any extra material here, because that can lead to cracking of the pad. All right, now we're ready to put the new pad on. We've cleaned up the backing plate a little bit and made sure that there isn't any material sticking up out of the holes. The Cleveland kit, which we've got from Aircraft Spruce, fortunately comes with three rivets. Don't mess it up. It's a good idea to buy a few extra rivets just to have them on hand. So which way it goes is pretty obvious. You have the recess for the rivet head itself. Now prepare the Rapco tool. We're going to pull the, the pin out. The actual setting head is in there. and We're going to put the, the base of the die in here. Now what you can do is align this. There's only one way it can go. It's pretty obvious. What I found helpful is to put the first rivet in, make sure it sits in, and then you set it on the anvil, twist to press the rivet just a little bit. You're not going to set it all the way, you just don't want it to come out so that you have a little bit of give on the rest of the pad. We'll grab another rivet, drop it in the one on the other end. This keeps you from clamping it down when there's a misalignment on all the holes. And this one you can go ahead and run all the way in. It's a matter of kind of feeling it. It'll get hard right at the end, and that's, that's in pretty good shape. Really, the test is to make sure that the pad doesn't move around on the backing plate at all. So now I'll go ahead and put in the middle one, obviously the big head on the pad side or the friction material side. Drop that in, center it. twist it down, and then we'll come back and get the first, finish the job on the first one. And that's really all there is to it. Take a moment to inspect the backs, make sure the rivets are, are peened nicely, that they're even on the front. Uh, be careful when you handle this stuff, make sure you don't have any grease or oil on your hands when you're doing it. And if you do ac accidentally get some on the friction material, make sure you hit it with some contact cleaner or some brake cleaner before you put the uh, wheels and brakes back together. And that's it. It's a great little tool. We know we all love tools. Easy to use. Makes this about a five-minute job. Thanks for watching.